Okay, so by the title of this video, you can tell that we're going to be doing a video tutorial on how to do phase one of NICER data analysis, and that is going to be processing. And we're going to do all that processing with one really helpful tool called NICER L2. NICER L2 is a pipeline that is going to run multiple different tools that is going to process all of our data so that we can uh, extract products uh, from uh the data after it's all been processed and cleaned and merged. Using NICER L2 is a really simple process and the only thing that you're going to really need is two things. You're going to need the most up-to-date version of Heasoft with the NICER libraries and you're going to need CalDB. CalDB either in remote form or local form, whichever form you decide you want to use. I want to quickly note that any issues I've encountered or I've seen people encounter with NICER L2 has come in the form of something to do with CalDB, either CalDB not set up correctly or CalDB not uh, collecting the correct calibration files. Now that we've gone over everything, we're simply just going to get started. And the first thing we're going to do is you're going to need to work your way to your data set. Your data set is going to be the directory with uh, this uh, just a string of numbers here. And it's going to be your observation ID for whichever observation you're trying to collect data from. So in this case, this is the observation I'm looking at. And we're simply just going to go inside here. Inside, you're going to find three new directories, an auxiliary log and XTI directory, XTI standing for X-ray timing instrument or instruments, I believe, and we're going to be going inside of XTI. Inside here, you're going to find a cleaned event file directory, an unfiltered event file directory, and a housekeeping file directory. We care about the cleaned event file directory, and what we're going to do is we're going to open this up into a terminal. This could just as easily be navigated to um, from the command line, but for a more visual approach, I'm doing it this way. Now that we're inside this directory, we're simply just going to initialize Heasoft. And then we're going to type in NICER L2. But before we hit enter on NICER L2, we're going to need to set our input directory. And we're going to do that by typing in in dir equals. Now that we've typed in in dir equals, we're going to simply just type in the path to our uh, full data set. And remember that full data set is the directory where, which has our entire observation ID as the title of that directory. The easiest way to do this if you're not running command line is to simply just drag and drop that directory in and then all you have to do is delete these single quotation marks. Otherwise, as you can see for me, I'm not changing through too many directories so this is actually a pretty easy path to type in. The last thing we're going to do before we hit enter and run NICER L2 is type in clobber equals yes. This is something that's just more personal. You don't have to do this if you want to, but I generally do it just because if I can clobber stuff, I will. So now all we're going to do is hit enter, and we should see the pipeline start to process this data set. Now you can see here that it says uh, MPU list 0 through 6 and there are multiple tools aboard NICER and I want you to remember that there is MPU 0 through 6. This pipeline process is going to take anywhere between 5 or 15 minutes on the slightly more rare but longer end. So it may be useful to run to the washroom if you need to, uh, maybe read something really quickly, maybe play a game. Um, this shouldn't take too long. Okay, so the pipeline process is done. You'll see here that, uh, there's a MPU7 UFA cleaned event file and a MPU7 CL event file. Remember how I said there's uh, 0 through 6 MPUs? Well, MPU7 is where all the merged uh, where all the results are merged to. So you're going to be looking for MPU7. And most of us are going to be looking for uh, the cleaned event file. And the cleaned event file is, of course, going to be MPU7 underscore CL. So let's simply just look in here and as you can see right here 
we have ni, our observation ID, underscore zero, mpu7, underscore cl. Uh, dot evt so that's our cleaned event file and if we simply just go back into this uh, uh, into the explorer here you can see right here that's the one that we're looking for and these are primarily going to be the two uh, event files we're going to be looking at if you want the unfiltered one that's uh, the ufa if you want the cleaned one uh, that's going to be underscore cl dot evt and that is pretty much the entirety of phase one. This is one of the simplest uh, processing uh, phases for any of the missions I've ever worked with. If, if anyone's worked with Chandrax, Mamnuton, or New Star, you know that those can uh, take a little bit of time or sometimes uh, setting everything up is a little bit weird. But with this, it's really easy. It's just nicer L2. Set your input directory. If you choose to clobber, you could choose to clobber. There's probably one or two more options in there. But for the most basic uh, data processing, this is really easy and really quick to do. That being said, if you do have any questions on the process at all, let me know in the comment section down below. So that'll do it. Hopefully this was helpful, and I'll see you next time.